Music is divided into bars by bar lines. The time signature, those two numbers at the beginning of the piece, tell us how many beats or counts will be between one bar line and the next. We divide things up like this because it makes the music way easier to read. No bar lines equals mega confusion. So here's a short piece without any bar lines. Let's see if we can fill them in. Before we do anything else, let's figure out how many counts each of these notes have. In the last video, we learned that all crotchets have one count, all minims have two counts, and all semi-briefs have four counts, like this. With the counting down, let's look at the time signature at the beginning of the tune. This particular time signature is called 4-4. Four, four. For now, let's forget about the bottom number and focus on the more important top number. This tells us how many beats will be between one bar line and the next. In this case, the top number is four, so every bar will be exactly four beats long. All we need to do now is add up the counts until we get four, and then draw a nice vertical bar line. Easy. So, one, two, three, four, bar line. One, two, three, four, bar line. One, two, three, four, bar line. And finally, one, two, three, four. Four, bar line. Now because it's the end of the tune, we need to add a special type of bar line to show that we're done. It looks like this, and we call it a double bar line. There you have it, we've used the time signature to draw in some bar lines and make some bars. Let's clap it, shall we? Always a good idea to clap these kind of things. Ready? One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three. Four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Awesome, let's try another example. Just like before, let's give the crotchets one count and the minims two counts. Now check out that time signature. This time the top number isn't four, it's three. This particular time signature is called three, four. We're in three, four time, so each bar now needs to have exactly three beats. Let's do this. One, two, three, bar line. One, two, three, bar line. One, two, three, bar line. And one, two, three, double bar line. Let's clap. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. Man, drawing all these bar lines is fun. Let's try one more. Again, let's put in the counting. Crotchets get one count, minims get two counts. You know the drill. This time we're looking at a 2-4 time signature. Two is on the top, so every bar needs to be exactly two beats long. One, two, bar line. One, two, bar line. One, two, bar line. And one, two, double bar line. Clapping, but of course. One, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. And we are done. Music quiz. Here's a tune with all the bar lines marked in. But bar three is missing notes. Check out the time signature and let me know below in comments what sort of note or notes you think could go in that empty bar. Happy music theorying everyone. Many different shapes of notes exist, but for now, let's talk about these three. The semibrieve, minim and crotchet. Or whole note, half note and quarter note, depending on where you live. The semibrieve or whole note